Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, bitches. <sighs> what's up, haters? Oh my gosh, I'm so shy. Yo, did you see her head? Mm. Fuck is that in my teeth? <laughs> Yo, girl. So, I just got off of work. Okay? I've been hella busy today. I'm hella busy every day. So let's just fucking clear the air right now. I'm the busy ass bitch. I have zero time for anything. I have a life. I have priorities. I have to fucking pay bills. I have fucking car payments. I have rent. I have fucking a water and trash. I have a fucking electric bill. I have fucking insurance. I have doggy bills. I have all kind of shit I have to fucking pay. I have responsibilities in my life, y'all. I'm a 33-year-old fucking woman. So, I don't have time because there's a lot of bullshit going on in the air. You know what I mean? I don't fucking appreciate a lot of the shit that's going on. Just saying. And I have zero, zero tolerance for bullshit and people that come with bullshit. So, if you got a fucking problem... We can duke that shit out right now. Anyways, I have a really good left hook too. Don't fucking play with me. Got these candies right here. Just wanted to try some candies. Um, these are pretty good. Pretzel, big cut Reese's. I don't know. These are hella big, yo. Let's try one of these fucking Reese Crunch. Uh, Yo, did I have one of these before? No, I never had one of these. I had the other one. It's the Take 5 or... No, Fast Break, I want to say. Let's try this. No, you cannot have chocolate, y'all. It's like fucking toxic to you. You die. Mmm. Life's supposed to be happy. I don't want to ever be a bitter-ass bitch. You know what I mean? My mental health, everything matters to me. You know what I mean? But communication is the key. If I don't know something, I'm not fucking showing up. You know what I mean? You gotta fucking communicate. Enough that fucking quiet shit. And me, I don't say nothing. I mind my business. I stick to myself. I, I write so little. I don't, I don't do that fucking talking shit, you know what I mean? I don't go out and fucking talk shit to everybody and say dumb shit, it's gonna fuck me all up. Mm-mm. I'm smart. I lay low. I lay low, I stay quiet. I got too much shit in my life to be, to be like risking anything. Mm-hmm. I work fucking hard for what I have. So. I ain't stupid. That's for sure. I don't have a big mouth. That's for sure. And I fear nobody. Nobody. Yeah, I said it. Read my fucking lips. I fear nobody. Thing is, though, when people say shit, they say it to other people. They don't ever say shit to the people, to anybody else, you know what I mean? Because they know they get knocked the fuck out real fast. Don't fucking test me, motherfucker. Yo, my shit is fucked up, yo. Hold on. Hold on. My fucking picture. My Picasso. Look at this shit. The famous street artist on 42nd Street made me this. That's me. Yeah, that's me. That's my baby. So. 
I wasn't gonna post anything tonight, but I was a little disturbed, and I wanted to eat some candy. It's just an excuse to eat some candy, you know what I'm saying? So, let's open this real quick. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. These are big as hell. Yo, this shit is hella big, bro. What am I supposed to do with this? Look how big this shit is, yo. This is a pretzel cup. Nah. But, I want to say one thing, though. I have no problem with nobody. I don't want no problems with nobody. You know, like I said, I mind my business. Only reason I'm really, I'll be honest. The only reason I'm here is because I have like my immediate family, like my mom and my brothers, my nephews, my niece, you know, um, a couple close friends. That's the only reason I'm here. Other than that, if it wasn't for them, I'd be gone a long time ago. I wouldn't even fucking be here. Mm. I would never came back to where I'm at. I didn't want to. I don't mind, but uh, sometimes things happen in life where you need some amnesia. So I left and came back. I didn't really want to, but I needed to, you know. I was away from my mom for a long time. And we wasn't on good terms for a while. Um, you know, like some issues, family issues and stuff, some problems. And I didn't speak to my mom for like six months when I moved to New York. Like I was so upset, you know, because it's just things you can't really talk about. But, um, it was just sad situations, you know, things that should not happen. Um, just problems that are just stupid shit. You know what I mean? Stuff that should not happen. But it happened. My dog. No, you're crazy. So you're ahead. But. Mm -mm. I just want a fucking peaceful life. That is all. I work hard, y'all. I'm a hustler. I work hard, too. You don't really know me, know me. But things aren't fucking handed to me. I work very hard. And I play smart. I'm not stupid. I, I stay silent. I try to be quiet about shit. I'm not loud. I'm not obnoxious. I don't need to prove nobody shit. I don't owe nobody anything. Mmm. This shit is so good. I like this one better. Fuck. So. Mmm. Let me show you guys something. Mother. Yo, my hair. I had my hair in a ponytail earlier. Mmm. And I had my bangs down. I just threw my hair up like this because I got off and I got to wipe my makeup off and shit. But my bangs was like down like this. And. There was like people, I my bangs got caught on my nose ring, right? See my little nose ring. It got caught on my nose ring, and this shit was like, it just boop, it just fell out. This shit just fell the fuck out, and I couldn't find it. And then this lady found it for me, and she was kind enough to put it on a napkin and give it to me. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. You found my nose ring. I'm not naked no more. I'm just playing. <laughs> um, so yeah. Anyway. No, nah, I'm like, y'all, I'm gonna tell you something. I don't talk about things 
in my life too much. I don't discuss topics. I don't talk about my experiences a lot, lot. But I am um, when I live in New York, right? I was surrounded by a lot of older people. All of my friends in my life, I'm gonna tell you, be honest, tell you one thing. My friends are 50 plus. Anybody that I hang out with rarely is anybody in their 30s and under. I've never, even when I was in my 20s, which was like, what? I don't know, not that long ago. I'm 33 now, but when I was in my early 20s, late teens, my friends were all like 30 plus. Like, I had friends that were in their 70s that I would hang out with. I would never hang out with anybody younger than me or none of that, you know? Except for like recent, like my cousins and shit. When I came back, my cousins, I would hang out with some of them. Mm. But, <laughs> I know I'm making you hungry for chocolate, right? Just kidding. But, I always kept my circle small. I always hung out people I could trust. Um... My friends were like Freemasons. Um, if you don't know what Freemason is, go look it up. And they always taught me to be quiet. You know what I mean? Keep your fucking mouth shut. Don't talk about certain things. Don't say shit to nobody. You know what I mean? Like, I try not to be that way. Like, my true character, my true, like, who I really am, I was taught by older people to be a certain way, but I had to mature, too. Now I'm a lot more mature, but I always, like, try to, like, keep myself, you know? I always try to stay focused. I always try to listen and remember what they told me and what they said, you know? So a lot of people that I surround myself with are very smart. They keep me on track. They they show me, tell me right from wrong. But it's not. I didn't like live my life. I didn't like say, hey, I'm gonna be with this person. Or I'm gonna go hang out with that person. No, it just happened that way. I never knew that. I never found out about people being in any type of like group or Freemason group or anything till way later. Like I never even knew this until way later. I thought, you know, they were just regular people, but um there was like a group of Masons that um invited me to their church and I never knew this guy from nowhere. But he was an older an older guy. And he just saw me at like a department store and I was shopping. He handed me a card and told me, come to my church. I want you to come to my church, you know, join us, blah, blah, blah. And I just kind of knew who he, I knew what he was and what he was about. Nothing bad, you know, not like what people make it out to be. It's not terrible. It's not, oh, you worshiped it. No, it's not, you're not a devil worshiper just because you're a Freemason or whatever. But, um... I don't know. I don't I don't know what made people reach out to me about certain things, but um like I said, a lot of my friends are a lot older and they taught me to keep my fucking mouth shut. You know what I mean? I'm I'm not old. I'm thirty three. I may not look thirty three, but a lot of what I learn is from different people, you know what I mean? Older people. I told you guys I had a Disney friend. Yo, I should hit him up. I don't know. My thing is, a lot of times when I leave, I just leave. I don't really stay in contact too much. Like, if I stay in contact with somebody, or if I randomly pop up, that's because you're very special to me. That's because, like, um... Could be something there you know what i mean i don't know like certain people like 
like all the ex musicians and stuff that I was friends with. Um, some of them would try to hit on me. I don't hit them up. You know what I mean? Um, cause it was not by choice that I wanted to, wanted them to do that. Like, I felt like it was kind of crossing the line and being disrespectful in a way. I choose what I want. So, I'm very in control of who I am and what I am. Mm. I don't really like this one. It tastes like a Butterfinger. You can eat the whole thing, but you would probably die. Ooh. Hold on. Don't mind the background. Hey. Tell them I went to eat chocolate with my mama. <laughs> I'm sick now. I ate fucking dinner at work and shit with my friends. Well, one friend. I have one friend. She's an older lady. She's so nice. Um, I ate lunch with her. Well, dinner, I guess you would say. I don't really eat lunch because I wake up at lunchtime and then I get ready. So, I like the Reese cup. But it's just too much chocolate. You know what I mean? It's way too much chocolate. Ugh. I can't fart because... Hold on. No. <clears throat> I can't fart, y'all. <laughs> I pooped earlier. Sorry, my. I took a shit earlier. Well, what's my hair look like? I have my hair. Go. I need to go wash my head. Actually, I washed it today. And I'll probably wash it tomorrow. Excuse me. See my hair. Yo, I should have had my hair done in this video, right? I would have looked a lot nicer. <laughs> Maybe. So anyways. Um, let me just save this candy for tomorrow. This is so gross though. What is this? Crispy crunchy Reese's. I don't like this. It's like a it's like a peanut butter butter. Wait, is Butterfinger peanut butter? It's like a crunchy Butterfinger Reese's. I don't like it. I was gonna go soak my feet in some Epsom salt because my feet get real sore. And I swear, the older you get, the fatter you get, and then the slower your metabolism gets, and then like you start like retaining water and shit. I just need to have good sex. I think I'll be better if I have good sex, right? I wouldn't be so fat and overweight and obese and disgusting and... You know what I mean? Yo, look at my fucking eyelashes. This shit's been on all day. This is how I'll be taking pictures. <laughs> Y'all, you see my fucking pictures. <laughs> you're like, damn, girl, you sexy. <laughs> you're like, damn. I mean, wait, wait, are you posing like this? I'd be like this and shit with my, hold on. With my butt and stuff. Be like this. <laughs> I don't even know how I do it. My fucking butt be up. Like, I make my butt look bigger than what it is. Nah, I do have a big butt though, kind of. It's not too bad. That's normal. That's my normal butt. But you want it to look a little bigger though. No, I can't because my fat's in the way. <laughs> yeah, I can't even show you my butt because my fat arms is in the way. No, I need to lose like, look at this. I need to lose like 50 pounds so I can be sexy and skinny again. Right, girl? Right, King. Yeah, my dog is so scared and she's like over a year old. Yo, girl, why are you being scared? She's like so petite and cute. I want to be petite and cute. I don't want to be big and fucking obese. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> No, nah, but like all these little like Guatemalan type dudes be staring at me and shit. And I'm like, yo, you small as shit. You know, like be some cute ones, but I'm like just little. I'm a big girl. Like I I'm like BBW. <laughs> I'm like a super size fry from McDonald's. <laughs> I'm like I'm like the big drinks from 
Who got the biggest tree? I'm like a big fucking rope route rope forty four. Is that what this called? From Sonic, like the big ass cups, like this big. <laughs> oh, I'm like that big cup, yo. I'm that big cup of. I don't. I was gonna say. I don't even know. Come here. Come here. Yo, tomorrow's my Friday. Tomorrow's my Friday, and I'm so fucking happy. I get two days off. Ooh, damn. <laughs> Broke my neck. <laughs> you hear that? Yo. Yo, that shit fucking hurts. So, yo. On this side, I got fucking damn crack in my neck. Like, I gotta... I gotta Don't be showing the titties, girl. Then they gonna be demonetizing my shit. I'm gonna fucking pay for this. <laughs> yeah, everything's gonna be funny now, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go to bed. I'm gonna have to go get ready for bed. <sighs> Yo, I gotta pop my neck this one time. Yo, we went to this massage place, right? Me, uh, my friends, my cousin, and this Asian dude, y'all. He's old Asian guy. It's like an old Chinese remedy medicine, like. <sighs> Where they like rub you and stuff. Yo, this dude hurt me so bad. And I'm just like, Ugh. you know what I mean? I'm like, damn, like you fucking hurting me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think I got a fart. Hold on. Yo, I thought I got a fart. <laughs> Anyways, this guy was hurting me and he was probably like in his 50s or 60s. And yo, he was rubbing me so hard. I was sweating. I'm like holding on to the fucking chair and stuff. And I'm like, you know, like I was in so much pain. I wanted to scream. I wanted to scream. He hurt me so bad. Like no little Asian man have ever put a hurting on me that fucking bad. This dude was rubbing the shit out of my fucking joints. Like my shit was stiff. My cousin took it like a champ. I'm like, damn bitch, you must be so relaxed. She's like, it's because you don't have sex. I'm like... I'm like, yo, he fucking hurt me. Like, I was sweating. And he patted my butt afterwards. Like, he, like, like patted my fucking ass cheeks. Yo, I fucking got a fart. Oh, I farted. Oh, I be shitting on myself. <laughs> Y'all know that shark shit you be doing? Mom be sharting on myself, huh? I had COVID a couple times, and I fucking shit it all over myself. He and I. But I could not hold it, yo. I was having my period, and I had COVID at the same time. Time. It was the most horriblest thing in my life. Like, I shitted on myself trying to open my fucking back door, trying to get in the house after work. Oh, excuse me. Well, that's like throw up. It's like fucking candy. <laughs> so, anyway, I need to go drink a gallon of water now so I can be skinny and flush all this fat out of me. But yeah, this the Asian guy, I never went back there. Yo, I fucking was in tears when I left there. Like, my whole body was red. And I'm like, I have like, I'm like very fair skin. Like, I'm not even, I'm like, I don't even go in the sun. This is my natural color. Like, well, I probably look a little tanner like this, but I'm white, y'all. Like, <laughs> my mom is like white looking. And I'm like whiter than her. You know what I mean? But I'm like very f light skinned, I should say. And I was just like, damn, my whole body turned red and I had bruises the next day. That's how bad it was. And I don't never want to get no fucking massage because I don't know. People say it feels good, but I'm like, if it feels anything like that little guy did, oh hell no. No Asian man's ever touching me ever again. Mm-mm. That dude fucking put a hurting on me. Somebody else said that they went to the same guy. Actually, one of my friends. She's like, I went to, I went to see this guy. Shut up. She's like, I went to see the guy, and she's like, I sat in a chair, and she said she was grabbing the chair, like squeezing it, and she said she wanted to scream. I was like, exactly. And she's like, I'm never going back again. And my cousin's the only one I know that fucking goes to this guy almost like, well, I don't know how often, but I'm like, how in the hell do you do this? Like, how do you, how do you let him fucking beat your body up? Like, this dude is like, boom, boom, boom. Like, he's fucking hitting your fucking spine and shit. I'm just like, damn, this shit fucking hurts. But she's the only one I know. 
that will fucking go to the place and let him fucking beat on her ass like that. I'm like, uh uh-uh, I'm fucking going again. And my cousin's the one that told me this one girl, one of, somebody, I don't know who it was. She probably knows, she's probably watching, but she told me that one of the girls uh, went with one of my cousins to the same place and the little Asian guy was like doing her, like her back, like doing her massage thing. And I guess she started screaming and told him to stop. Like, she's like, stop, stop, stop. And they had to call 911, right? And the fucking ambulance came. And then I fucking carried her out on a stretcher. Like, she had a fucking pinch of nerve in her back. I'm like, oh, hell no. This is some fucking guys fucking people up in this place. I'm like, I can't. I ain't letting this guy touch me ever again. But yo, are you seeing him and shit? And you like, I'm like, yo, you're not cute, dude. You fucking hurt me the last time. But no, I am never going to no fucking thing like that. Or the shit where they stick pens all over you? Uh-uh. No. Just take some ibuprofen after I crack my bones. <laughs> yo, I can't even pop my neck. I feel like I got a fucking big ass thing in my neck. Oh, oh, that feels good. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go take a shower though. I'm just fucking lazy. I'm so, <laughs> I'm fucking tired. All right, I'm gonna go now because this video is almost 30 minutes and I gotta upload this shit. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.